Hello, see the meerkat cat here. Welcome to another episode. Another episode, even. Mm -hmm. uh, let's play Final Fantasy VI Advance. As you can see, we have Strigger with us, and we're going to need him um, for what we're about to do now. So uh, we're going to need Realm. We're going to need Strago for a brief scene in Fomasa. If I can, I'm going to get rid of them again after that because. I'm, uh, I'm not very happy with them being in my party. Although, uh, things are also a bit more complicated than that. Because uh, we, are, we have a situation coming up, basically. Uh, I'm, we, we're going to need two parties to uh, tackle Kepha's tower which is the final uh, section of the game uh, we're going to Fumasa now by the way so yes, uh, we're going to need that and uh, for that we're going to need both of our parties to be reasonably powerful I think we might get away with one party being slightly more powerful than the other one but yeah, we don't want uh, either of them to be uh, a pushover, if you see what I mean. They need to be uh, quite, uh, quite good at it. And so, because of that, it's probably a good idea to train up some of the characters I don't normally use to uh, get their levels up to a slightly higher level. So what I'm going to do, although it will involve some rather irritating changing around of equipment and stuff like that. I'm sorry about the thing at the bottom of the screen there that said recording. Um, I need to work out a way to get rid of that being you know, appeared in the last episode as well. And I apologise for that. Anyway, um, we should be up for Massa now. Ah, oh, right, yes we are. But just before we launch into that sequence, I'm going to explain this. So yes, I'm going to pick one character, as well as Mog, obviously, who I want to train up to a high level as well, and um, get that character up to a decent level. So I might choose Drago. Um, he's got that, uh, that one attack that's, uh, that's pretty powerful. That, uh, that lore is is a pretty powerful magic attack. So, and uh, yeah, I just slowly start to train my other characters uh, that I think are okay to a higher level. I don't remember who this person is. Ah, right, yes, I think it was a hunter from a few episodes ago who first told us about this hidden creature. Aiden has also given him a cold, unfortunately. I wonder if Gung Ho's his real name. I suppose his parents may have been anticipating that he would uh, hunt uh, strange beasts. Well, I'm thinking of not taking you with me, well. If I have to take her with me, I will, but I'm not happy about it.
Now I have to find Ebert's rock. I've got a feeling that it's, uh, that... <laughs> well, we'll see in a minute. I have a strategy guide with me, so... Okay, I'm going to do some uh, complex and uh, rather boring manoeuvring with uh, which characters I have so that I can uh, make sure that they all get the equipment uh, that they need. It's, uh, it's probably going to be easier to uh, do this this way. So yes, I'm going to I'm going to skip over showing that off. Um, I don't think there's anything particularly interesting that you need to have with you. We're going to need a uh, fire, uh, but magic, but apart from that, uh, it doesn't really matter that much. So for the moment, I think I'm going to stick with Sprago as my uh, extra spare character. I want to uh, train Mog up. Quick, uh, quick comment about uh, Strago. I'm giving him the Magnus Squad which uh, should increase his magic. I'm not really sure if I need Thunder Shield, Ice Shield or uh, Flame Shield, but I might as well give them because even if I don't need to uh, defend against that specific type of magic, uh, they are uh, powerful uh, shields. So, so uh, Apparently, if you talk to him, um, it lets you take all of the equipment off uh, your characters. I didn't realise that. I thought it did the same thing as talking to one of these guys, which was to change party members, but uh, it doesn't. Uh, I don't really have much else to uh, say about that. So, let's just get going. I'm sure if something else occurs to me, then I will say it. Ah, right. I think we couldn't, uh, you couldn't actually get into this before witnessing that scene in Thermasa. I have, in fact, tried in a previous video, although I cut that out, I think. But, uh, now we can get in here. Again, I am allowing them to uh, encounter enemies. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not. I'm not quite sure how I get that. Well, I can hope that one of these bears. Uh, has some. Okay, I I messed that up. Never mind. Uh... Oh, I can look up where to get some. Alright, it seems that you get transported to random locations when you do this, which means that you should be able to get pieces of coal from, uh, from that. I've got a feeling that this is going to take a while, but never mind. I'm talking chest again. Because I've got a feeling I need to get past it in order to uh, get where I need to go. And again, it's the same enemies that we've seen before, only this time there's a slightly different colour scheme on them.
Well, at least they've been gained a level. I would rather my lower level characters gain a level, but... Well, I'm getting plenty of pieces of coal, so does that. And more coal. Now, if it really is doing this at random, then eventually I'm going to end up in front of that thing. Okay. Okay, him then. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if I can get every piece of coal there is. It's not going to be particularly easy because I can't see very well in this cave and I don't know where all the chests are, but I'm gonna try. Um, so we have a, a slightly different coloured version of a creature that we've uh, fought before here, yeah, and so I'm gonna uh, show this battle off to you. I'm gonna try to say things whilst I'm showing it off to make it entertaining, as I do. Uh, Mog must get really tired of falling on his face back. It was just a naturally clumsy creature, I guess. Or maybe it's supernaturally clumsy. Ah, oh, this would appear to be a side point. I wonder who Ebert is. The rock appears to belong to him. I did not intend to do. So I suppose I'm getting used to the layout now. So tell me how much coal I need. You know what? Perhaps I don't know. I might skip some of this and just uh, just come back to the footage when um, to show off uh, what what happens when you finally give it enough coal. Well, apparently there's a creature here called a Medusa chicken, so I'm gonna have to show that off to you. This, uh, this aqua attack of Stragos does use up energy magic power, so I suggest only using it if there's uh, several creatures like this.
Also, the problem with uh, mods attacks are um, dance attacks. They don't don't often work the first time. And the thing about that is, it, that's not very useful when you're fighting one enemy because normally one enemy will uh, will only will be defeated in a couple of moves, and that's it. So it's better if mod can sort of continue the. Uh, uh, the dance attacks for as long as possible. Ah, right. Excellent. Okay, I think just take care of these and then I might want to uh, get healed in preparation for the boss. I just want to check something quickly. Well, it doesn't look like I have it. Um, Pearl is a type of attack that works against um, Hyden, but according to Scratchy Guide, but I don't have it uh, on any of my espers, and I know it's not the type of magic that any of my characters have without um, getting the espers uh, help, as it were. So, I guess I'll have to do without it. Hello. Uh, yes, there's various creatures that surround him. This is quite an irritating thing, but uh, that's life, I guess. So, at first, you want to concentrate on uh, flower attacks. Well, you want to keep on concentrating on flower attacks, but uh, more than that, you also want attacks that damage more than one enemy until you've gone with four e Ebris. which is why having Sabin with us is pretty useful, and Edgar as well. I like the way it's sort of whited out like that when uh, the uh, uh, Asper is, uh, is shining, as it were. I'm also going to have to look out and see if there are any types of characters that uh, actually heal the enemy. Ah, uh, yeah, um, I should have uh, gotten something that is uh, poison. Now, and I just use antidote on myself, even though I'm not poisoned. How irritating! What I'm gonna do, actually, to get poison. I'm gonna uh, just attack it and uh, see how long it lasts. Uh, see how long we last. Wait, that's far and holy. 
I guess, uh, I guess, um, Pearly is also known as Pearl for some reason. It, uh, it makes no sense. Okay, so water seems to heal the area, but is irritating. Obviously, it's a good idea to keep an eye on your levels here. And now we should be able to just concentrate on hiding. I don't think any of my characters are now holy. This is quite irritating, but never mind. I don't know if I've just got an amulet or something like that. He, uh, he doesn't seem to be affected by poison, so possible. Now, I don't think he's actually going to poison my heart again. Uh, I think it might be time to actually uh, use antidote. I mean, at the moment, he is uh, managing to uh, not get hurt. Well, uh, heal himself to free using uh, ass, but never mind. You know, it's going to make the battle much, much easier if I can just get with the poison here, so. And I don't talk much during the boss battles, it's because there genuinely isn't much to say, apart from just attacking him with fire, since we don't have holy, there really isn't a lot we can uh, do. But it doesn't matter, he's decently now anyway, it's fine. There we go. And uh, Grand Delta, which I believe is one of the more powerful attacks that Strago can earn. So... Yep. Well, I don't know if I missed any items that may have been to the left or to the right of uh, the cave. There were two branching off paths there, but never mind.
you know, you know what my course on uh, trying to collect all of the items is in this game, so... Oh, he seems pretty energetic for someone who's seriously injured. Where's he really hurt? In with? I don't know. Possible he was just lying. Because he felt like being in bed. I don't know. Well, actually, you didn't use your stuff at all, you used fire magic. But never mind. This nice uh, twilight sort of light here. Well, that's it for this episode. I will see you next time.